the construction of a chemical weapons factory is Where? a crime anywhere. I disagree with that. You think it's okay? We I think it's we okay. Need... You know why I think it's okay? Well, the reason we won the Cold War, and again, I'm the product of this victory uh, for freedom yeah. of the West right. over the uh, Soviet socialist, uh, call it what you want, communist dictatorship, because that's what it is actually, uh, was the uh, system, the policy system, which is abbreviated as M-A-D. You know what it stands for? No. Mutually Assured Destruction. Oh, and, okay. Mm -hmm. So With the nuclear thing. And the nuclear thing, thing, biological thing, chemical so thing. We have to arm ourselves to the We team have no have choice. Have we have no choice. Unfortunately, the think, Russians, I, the I, Russians I, I think produced... Think is a little backwards. Well, because but that's, you have created so much fear when you built all those nuclear weapons and those We didn't start weapons. it. We didn't start it. It doesn't matter who started it. Oh, yes, it the does. Build, oh, yes, it does. No, 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 no. It absolutely matters. I don't when we have... With that look, I, I lived in the USSR. These people... And, and by the way, I think that the, to sort of uh, ascertain uh, uh, the society, I mean, any society in the world, the first thing that you have to look at, or, or the health of the society, is uh, their attitudes towards, uh, or rather, the way they value human life, one human life. Now, the Soviets have absolutely no regard for human life. By the way, the word masses, and that's, you know, another thing that kind of, you guys use like masses. You See, guys. to them, masses, I mean, you guys, the socialists. Uh, masses. Socialists? Is that what you said to me? Well, I don't know. If, if you, you're not if, listening to me, did you not hear me say that? If I you're not, use that good. Word again? Did you not hear me say that? Good, thank you. So, but do you use the word masses? Because I spoke with other guys, uh, you know, last night and again. No, I'm sorry, he was a socialist. He was the one who used the word masses. Actually, avowed socialist, so I take it back. But, but generally speaking, to them, people were masses. And it's a convenient word because when you use the word masses, then individual kind of disappears yeah, and this no huge, there's no value for life. I, I concur on the value of the So the reason I'm bringing it up is because the Russians not having any regard for human life, they were building factories, chemical factories, and there's in, in Gibai, if I forgot the name of this guy, who now works in the... Uh, uh, in the United States, uh, one of these, uh, you know, either pharmaceutical companies or some, you know, he was uh, he was the head of this program. And uh, now that it is completely destroyed under Yeltsin, they produced so much uh, uh, chemicals, germ wa 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 warfare material to destroy the entire human race many times over. I mean, think about it, many times over over so your idea then is we should keep doing that the idea more? is so to have a parody at keep least have a parody more? uh whatever we whatever to, huh? whatever it takes i mean if 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 I this, you need to if, if that, this is what, well the way it helps you and again it's it stands for m a d a mutually assured destruction, assured destruction. I, I it, it, it worked it worked with the russians though now we have another threat even bigger threat and that's uh, from the islamists because they are the people, at least the Soviets, the leadership, they wanted to leave. Do you know, I have so many Arabic friends, and I uh -huh. love the Arabic people as I love all peoples, uh -huh. all peoples, wholeheartedly. I'm talking and about I people. don't want them to be warring and murdering each other and killing each Neither other. Neither do I. Want I. A higher, better human being. And I think it's time we turn away from nuclear weapons, weapons of mass destruction. I'd love to. I'd love to. find a new way. I'd love to. build that way. I'd love to. I'd love to. We've already got I'd love to. destroy the earth 10 or 15 or 40 times over. Why are we continuing to do that? Because we love war. You know why we love war? Because uh -huh. war is a mechanism by which we rip off other people's oil, gas, When was diamonds. the last? Give me one example. When was the last time or ever that a democracy unleashed a war uh, well America unless it, uh, unless like unless attacked okay america what? was never attacked in Syria. You, you, you. america was never attacked in libya uh -huh. america was never attacked in honduras but helped with the coup so was so it, i don't know what you're basing that well on. if we talk about We've you know in all kinds of wars that we weren't attacked in. We attacked Iraq, and the uh -huh. terrorists that bombed uh, on 9-11 were uh -huh. most likely from Afghanistan, but it wasn't the Iraqi government that we attacked uh -huh. before the Iraqi government ever attacked us. So all kinds of wars have started without being attacked. Without being attacked. So 9-11 yeah. doesn't really matter. And how was, like I said, how we're supposed we attacked Iraq. The Iraqi uh -huh. government did not bomb 
that we, we were twin we, towers. Look, we were just talking about the weapons of mass destruction. And you want okay. more, because, but you also say that less war is better. Was that? You said, but you think we should make more weapons of mass destruction, but you believe that well, more in, war is not the answer. No, in in as, ma in, in as uh, uh, much as uh, we can counteract the other bad uh, actors. So we just need to have bigger guns. We just that's need exactly to, right. This yeah, is. I think there's a. This, this is, should be a better way because. I wish. Those I guns, wish. Those weapons get released and sold, look, and now they're funding look, I'll wars quote, all over the Middle East. I'll quote Mao Zedong for you. Power comes from the barrel of the gun. Mao Zedong. That's exactly. That's I didn't. I mean, I, I listen. I lived in USSR. We had at least a third of our curriculum was all the socialist communists below in it. So there is no escape. I mean, das Kapital, we have to read, not only read cover to cover, we have to pass exams. There is, there is a subject called the scientific communism, something that is impossible to comprehend. The only subject that I failed, and I was a good student, was political economy. I understand politics. I understand politics. Political economy, I, I just couldn't get it because it made absolutely no sense. Just like all these theories of communism made no sense whatsoever. Can I tell you a story? Sure. Yeah, go ahead. My oldest son, he's an attorney now in Oregon. Uh -huh. Very successful, very okay. wonderful attorney. Fights the good fight for the good people, for the good cause. Helps uh -huh. the lesser fortunate, helps the person who needs him. Uh -huh. When he was younger, he, he went to travel the world. He went to South America. Uh -huh. And in South America, he lived in um, uh, Quito, Ecuador. Yeah. High Andes. Uh -huh. And he, he was a very reasonably priced uh, city to live in, and he started a business. Okay. Uh, called. Um, Let my church turn this way. It's against adventure, the sun. Adventure tours. Uh huh. And what he did was he took people that visited Quito, Ecuador, out hiking in the Andes, uh -huh. or over to go kayaking down the rivers in the upper Amazon. Uh huh. And one time he had a group of Israeli students, mm -hmm. six of them. Uh -huh. And so they went for a hike into the Andes. Uh -huh. And at this time, they were kidnapped by a revolutionary group called Sendera Luminosa. Yeah, the shining and my path. Son is, and, my, the shiny path. and my son, who is very fluent in Spanish, uh -huh. knew immediately that the fact that the students were Israeli would be a problem, mm -hmm. might be a problem. Uh -huh. And so he said they're from Sweden. Okay. They're socialists. I'm sorry? They're socialists. They're from Sweden. Right, socialists. And they okay. were held for Social. two weeks. There we go, socialist again. They okay. were held for two weeks in a hike. In a <laughs> you mean your son? My son. Your son was actually held? Wow. Held at gunpoint in a oh my God. Shining Path camp. And for two weeks, and uh -huh. after two weeks there, they're going to hold them and then get ransom or do like this. They're talking to them. They're going to uh -huh. do something with you or kill them or something. Sheesh. And then guess what? Because he had read Mao's little red book uh -huh. and was able to talk about it, uh -huh. he befriended them. <clears throat> and he talked them out of their predicament and they were freed and allowed to leave after two weeks in the high mountains in a remote area. Uh -huh. well, I can't say that I had uh, a similar experience, but when I was in Guatemala, when uh, there was a civil war going on, uh, you know, the, 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 the regular scheduled bus was stopped by this military. They, yeah. they have made everybody get out of the bus. They lined the, everybody, you know, That's against the, the bus to, to check everybody's uh, okay. papers. I was the only one who got off the bus, who walked around, chatted up all the soldiers. They checked everybody's documents except mine. And they let, they let everybody in you have, back. You have that personality. You could do that, see. And my son, too. He's a friendly person, a good heart. And, you know, he came back, uh -huh. and it was... Five years after this happened, uh -huh. he told us what happened. Sheesh. Only because he was hiding it. Five years, he held us inside. He didn't want to worry his mother and father about yeah. his experience that he had out in the world. He uh -huh. didn't want to disturb his mother. He didn't want to hurt his mother. But it was happy ending. It was happy, but, but just to know that when he was out traveling, something like that, he wanted to protect us from that information. But I then see. his friend, uh -huh. who was down there in, came to visit us. Uh huh and began to talk about the story. Otherwise, he might not have ever told us. Huh. He was on the, he was on the, with him at the uh -huh. time. And so when he came to visit us up in Humboldt County years later, then we found out uh -huh. what And by the way, since you brought up Sendero Luminoso, I mean, this is the example of communism for you. 
or socialists. I mean, that, that's what they are. All these shining yes, paths. Yes, but we don't agree with the, what they're... What they're but it doesn't matter whether they agree or not. I mean, they are well, I, fighting I agree that under I'm not the red... I agree use the word socialism out of respect for your sensitivities on this issue. And, I, and I'm, I'm, I know I'm, that I'm, many others have this... I'm thick-skinned, trust me. I was interrogated by the KGB once in 1985. Oh so if I, if I could survive the KGB, do you think... Were they, were they cruel to you? No, no. I mean, they, they wanted to, you some questions. No, they just wanted to, to pressure me to work for them. You know. Oh, and, that was a uh, recruitment interview. Well, <laughs> hi, yeah, sure. Interview recruitment. Uh -huh, my ass. <laughs> like I've, I, I've like I would. My, I've lost my kids here. Where'd they go? Where did my <laughs> All right, well, go? find your kids. It was nice talking to you. Well, if nice you would like, you. I can give you my my oh, card, you. and uh, you'll oh. see the place where you can find me. Okay, I'm gonna do that. it. Do you okay. have a card? Sure. I'd love to. Let me turn my camera off. Okay. Bye. We'll see you. Bye now.